Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. We begin our 16th video in the I-85 series in Spartanburg County, South Carolina, near the city of Spartanburg, and we're still amidst a construction project to rebuild the northbound lanes. We're back on the correct side of the median, but we're still restricted to the two left lanes. The speed limit remains 60 miles per hour, almost to the state line, presumably due to the construction. We enter Cherokee County, which has an estimated population of 56,646. This area was occupied for thousands of years by the historic Cherokee people before European encounter. When European traders and settlers entered the area, they used the existing Native American path, called collectively the Trading Path. The Upper Road and Lower Cherokee Traders Path were paths that passed through the Piedmont. The former connected to Fredericksburg, Virginia, leading from the Virginia Tidewater into the Piedmont and to the south. The Lower Cherokee Traders Path especially connected areas in present-day Western North Carolina northern South Carolina and northeastern Georgia. In the mid-18th century, waves of British migrants and immigrants, an estimated 250,000 people, traveled by these paths into Cherokee and neighboring counties in the Piedmont. This backcountry area was initially settled especially by immigrant Ulster Scots people Germans and Anglo-Americans migrating into the area. Cherokee County is the only county to have three national parks within its boundaries. The Over Mountain Victory National Historic Trail, Kings Mountain National Military Park, and Cowpens National Battlefield. Several historic homes dot the landscape of Cherokee County. 
the area's newest attraction is the Cherokee County History and Arts Museum. It is located at the Old Central School. Cherokee County's history, its contributions to the arts, and its role in shaping the culture of the Southeast are explored. We enter the city limits of Gaffney, the county seat of Cherokee County. Gaffney is known as the peach capital of South Carolina and has an estimated population of 12,920. Fictional politician Frank Underwood, the protagonist of the Netflix series House of Cards, is a native of the city and its federal representative in the United States House of Representatives and later President of the United States. Ahead on the left, nearly obscured by the gawking RVers in the left lane, is the famous Gaffney Peachoid. The Peachoid is a water tower shaped like a peach, so it serves both artistic and practical functions. Finally, the speed limit increases to 65 and the construction seems to be over.
We briefly enter the town limits of Blacksburg, which has a population of 1,888. In the 1890s, large amounts of iron ore were found in the area. Blacksburg became a boom town and hotels and saloons were built for the new visitors. Because of the iron rush, the town became quite wealthy. The city was incorporated in 1888 as Blacksburg, but still holds the nickname of Iron City. The Iron City Festival was held for the first time in 2006. The festival commemorates the founding of the town and is sponsored by the Blacksburg Business Association Incorporated. Iron City Festival is held the third weekend in April. The last exit in South Carolina at mile 106 has another appearance of US 29, making one of its many crossings of I-85. The town on the sign, Grover, is actually in North Carolina, just over the border. We conclude today's video without fanfare at the North Carolina state line. No sign, no welcome. Just a change in the paving material and an orange cone. Thanks for watching. Check out our merchandise at shop.spreadshirt.com slash 504 road trips. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share, and follow us on social media. And join us for our next 504 road trip.